Officer jabbed his short sword toward the bull, who'd come forward to stand beside her, Prade's cheap steel in his hand. But it was a mistake to take his eyes off Yorin, even for an instant. Quick as that, the Black Brother's sword was pressed to the apple of the officer's throat. Neither's the one you get, lest you want me to see if your apple's ripe yet. I got me ten, fifteen more brothers in that inn, if you still need convincing. I was you, I'd let loose of that gut cutter, spread my cheeks over that fat little horse, and gallop on back to the city. He spat, and poked harder with the point of his sword. Now! The officer's fingers uncurled. His sword fell in the dust. We'll just keep that, Yorin said. Good steel's always needed on the wall. As you say, for now. Men? The gold cloak sheathed and mounted up. You'd best scamper up to that wall of yours in a hurry, old man. The next time I catch you, I believe I'll have your head to go with the bastard boys. Better men than you've tried. Yorin slapped the rump of the officer's horse with the flat of his sword and sent him reeling off down the King's Road. His men followed. When they were out of sight, Hot Pie began to whoop. But Yorin looked angrier than ever. Fool! You think he's done with this? Next time, he won't prance up and end me no damn ribbon. Get the rest out of them baths. We need to be moving. Ride all night. Maybe we can stay ahead of them for a bit. He scooped up the short sword the officer had dropped. Who wants this? Me! Hot Pie yelled. Don't be using it on Ari. He handed the boy the sword hilt first and walked over to Arya, but it was the bull he spoke to. Queen wants you bad, boy. <coughs> Arya was lost. Why should she want you? <coughs> the bull scowled at her. Why should she want you? You're nothing but a little gutter rat. Well, you're nothing but a bastard boy. Or maybe he was only pretending to be a bastard boy. <laughs> What's your true name? Uh, Gendry, he said, like he ah. wasn't quite sure. Don't see why no one wants uh. to be ah. you, Yorin said. Ah. But they can't have you regardless. By the side of a gold cloak, make for the wall like a dragon's on your tail. The rest of us don't mean spit to them. Except for you, Arya pointed out. That man said he'd take your head too. Well, as to that, Yorin said. If he can get it off my shoulders, he's welcome to it. John. Sam, John called softly. The air smelled of paper and dust and years. Before him, Tall wooden shells rose up into dimness 